know I count up by the twos. Damn, you gon' count it by the twos. Rubber certified. First, you gotta get approved. You don't. I gotta get approved. So, I have a part of from Houston. The land of the dirty sprite, proper drink. Got my boy Little Head right here. What's up, man? Shit, just chilling, man. Posted up, living life, doing everyday life, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing what I do, producing, making music, bro. Yeah, that's what's up. You know, how did you get started with your music and rapping and being on engineering? Shit, uh, I got it started, man. Just, uh, I was probably like in junior high, man, and I just was always rapping and trying to, you know what I'm saying, just trying to be the rapper at the school. And then, uh, then I met my cousin in like 2008, and then we just took off, bro. We just started doing music, music, you know, produ producing, like, you know, I wasn't really producing too much then. But you know, we had our studios and you know, we were doing all that, you know, performing for like Lil Flip and uh, Charlie Boy, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Michael Watts, first place, you know what I'm saying? Winners of the Skrilla Town. And you know, I just thank God for all that, bro. Like, I just, you know, I just do it just to do it because you know, that's what I love and whatever comes with it, then you know, it is what it is. Who's your influences in your in your own craft? Oh, sh influences, man. Really, uh, I look up to a lot of like Wiz Khalifa, homie. Like, you know, I like not too much like him, but just his style in general and you know his music, bro. I mess with a lot of Wiz Khalifa, you know. So I can kind of relate to a lot of stuff that he does besides like balling and shit, you know, because I'm not, but. You know, I still get it, get it in. You know, cash checks and do what I do. What's up? And I see you're part of like a collective, like the local foundation. Yeah, yeah, part of that, bro. I've been with them since 2008. Like I said, uh, I met my cousin and he just like, come on, we're gonna ride and you know what I'm saying, do the music thing and. I've been at it ever since. We were still local foundation, you know, ever since. So, yeah, I went for the Tinker Chick gear. By the way, I got stickers and shit and shirt, t-shirts. You know what I'm saying? Just get at your boy. I'm saying I get them pressed up, whatever, whatever y'all need. If y'all need y'all's own shit pressed, come on with it, man. You know, hate, all love, you know what I'm saying? L's up. So, that's how we do it. That's what's up. And so, what's your favorite doll or studio thing to use? As far as like what in the studio, like equipment or like what? Yeah, equipment or what like we used to produce and stuff. Oh shit, yeah. Oh, uh, really? Me, like yeah, I'm producing, bro. Trying to make like make a name for myself, cause like I said, at the end of the day, uh, you know the shit that you produce or push out, bro. You know your your name's behind that. You know what I mean? So, I just try to get everything to the T, man, and make everybody happy. You know. If, you're paying to come record and I'm gonna make sure it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? Worth the time or whatever. And basically how I do it in the studio. Yeah. So what are the struggles of being a producer? Struggling? Uh, I mean, really everyday struggle, bro, you know, cause like, you can always get better and better, bro. You can't ever just like, keep yourself to like, your, you can't just be happy all the time with, you know, with the same things you do all the time, you know, you gotta like, be able to tweak your knobs and do different things with the music as far as just like you know rapping bro you know because like you know just producing life if you're a producer you would understand you know the everyday things you go through you know what i'm saying and to make everybody happy and keep your clients happy as well I'm saying so that's what's up so do you sometimes work for free or are or artists have to come at you strictly to work for free well no nah, i never really had that you know like as far as that you know just you know they pay me and i get it done you know or if, other than that like a feature or something i'll be down or you know if it's the camp i ain't gonna charge nobody you know i just you know they're gonna record put in work you know work work if not then i don't even waste my time you know what i'm saying that's what's up
and you have ever had to deal with difficult artists? Yeah, I've had not too many, but you know, there's sometimes where you know you struggle with their vocals or they're just maybe too loud at the time and you couldn't record them because, or you no, know, you recorded them, but later on you're like, dang, I rec it was kind of too loud because he was off. But I mean, I've never really had to where I couldn't record them, you know, or like fix it, you know, like, but I've had struggles though. Every now and then I run into an artist that's kind of difficult to mess with, so, but you just gotta find the right, you know what I'm saying, the right key to fix it and do it, because I mean, as long as they pay you, you should be able to come correct, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. So, what about a funny style that motherfuckers ever had to deal with them, like the rappers had, say, like, talk like manager like that stuff? I, I never really had it's hard. I never really ran into nothing like that, honestly. It's like I never really ran into them. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to expect either. <laughs> I wouldn't know like how to come about, you know. Yeah. But yeah, I had never dealt with that one. Yeah. So what kind of uh, crazy experience you have dealt with as a as a engineer? Well, while engineering. Um, crazy experience, man. Uh, Really, I guess just like learning the whole thing, the whole producing deal, bro, because I was just like, damn, bro, it's like, I could never do that, you know what I mean? And I've been doing it probably since like 2013, 12 or something like that. I've been just engineering, just trying to do my own music, because nowadays I'm like, I don't even like the way anybody produces me, but I don't know, it's just, I guess like, because I'm used to my producing, you know? So I guess that's why, I don't know, like, it's weird, but that's just the way it is. Ever had somebody drop some cold shit and you feel like stealing it or just keep it to yourself? Nah, I just probably keep it to myself. I do that all the time, bro. Like when I hear some hard shit, you know what I'm saying? Like I'll be like, man, these fools go hard, man. And I'll just, like me, I'll become a little fan of them, you know? Like I want to hear what they talking about. Like what's y'all keep pushing them here, y'all's music. and. You know, try to like just see what type of music they got going on. That's what's up. And who is the livest rapper you ever work with? You say what now again? Who is the livest rapper you have worked with? Yeah. Like, who's like the realest? And the realest man, I'll probably be uh. Like honestly, bro, it have to be my cousin, man, CL, and uh. The one that showed me everything that I know is my, my OG Don Juan. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I just always buy like, it's just real, you know what I'm saying? Like, dealing with them in life, so I know that. I mean, that's, a, I mean, everybody's like, you can't say everybody's real because, you know, you don't really know nobody like that, you know? So you gotta like get to, but me, they're fam, you know what I'm saying? So I know it's real, you know what I'm saying? So it's just. Really the realest niggas that, you know what I'm saying? I still ride with to this day, you know what I'm saying? So, obviously it's like, you know, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? So, who's your favorite artist in the city right now? Favorite artist in the city? Yeah, uh, shit, honestly, man, uh, I would have to give it to Ike G, man, just being that, that boy's really just, you know what I'm saying, working, grinding, you know what I'm saying, as far as like the city-wise, you know, and it's just, I've been like, I don't really know him too much, and I just know him through my partner, Little E, but, you know, like I see him, and like his music's just, you know, it's tight, you know what I'm saying, I feel like it's good, you know what I'm saying. Is there any artists that you want to collab with? Shit, I mean, the way we do it, man, I've, I've done with, like, you know, a few people, man, you know, like, artists that I reach out to, and I just reach out to myself, you know, and, like, Peso, you know, we recently got a couple of tracks with him coming soon, you know what I'm saying, and pretty dope. My boy Eloy, you know what I'm saying, uh, you know, I try to reach out to everybody, you know what I'm saying, I really want to do stuff for, like, just different people, you know, like, I don't know if y'all know Beto, YB, you know what I'm saying, Skrilla Life, you know, that's my partner too, and, you know, do some shit with him, and uh, 
Sapo, all them, you know what I'm saying? 806, whenever, you know, we get time, we'll get around to it, you know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people that are pushing, you know, in the city and really trying to, like, do their music, you know, and I see that, you know, recognize that, you know what I mean? And shit, I, yeah, I just keep pushing, bro, you know what I'm saying? Keep on doing it. Like I'm real as hot right now, or and there's um, unity in the city. Uh, I wouldn't say that, man. Like, I would say that they're trying to get it united, you know, unity, bro. But like, it hasn't been, bro. It's always just been like a lot of hate, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just speak it as it is, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know, you just like a lot of people don't see eye to eye in right now, you know what I'm saying? And it shouldn't even be like that, but maybe you know, one day we can, or. You know, maybe we won't, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Just go from there. You know, like you never thought about leaving the city and moving up somewhere and expand your business or? Yeah, that's what I've been thinking, like honestly, recently now, like, you know, moving like to the D town of, you know, Fort Worth area, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So that way I can try to see what, what other plans it will take, you know, I don't know until you know, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So you you never engineer for or you engineer or produce for someone that is trash, but you just took them for them for the money. Um. Probably like once, I had once or twice. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, I just it wasn't like trash. It was just like it wasn't really like worth it. But I mean, they paid me, so I just did it and sent them on their way. They were happy, so you know. So, I mean. They pay me, I'm, I'm gonna get the bread, you know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know, who, what do you think is better nowadays? Singles or EPs and stuff? Um, I, I don't know, man. Uh, probably uh, EPs, bro, honestly. I mean, but singles, I think, are pretty tight too. But EPs really are more like, you know, you got your own beats, you're ready for, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're on another level, so. You gotta come ready for that, you know, cause EPs you can't just like drop it and it just be trash or you know the producing's off or you know you always gotta be ready for that, you know what I'm saying? But that's what's up. Do you think it's better being independent or to be signed to someone? I mean, I I mean I enjoy independent, bro. You know, with just us, you know, the little click that we got, you know what I'm saying? And I mean. I mean, it's just less stress, you know, do it as a hobby, you know, just do it and just try to blow up on our own because, I mean, it's not really all that when you do the record label deal and you got, you know what I'm saying, try to fuck you over and all that and I just feel like it's not even worth it, man, really. That's what's up. If someone offered you a deal and you, and you took it, you would dip it the hell out of here? Uh, probably, but I would make sure that my fam was good, you know what I'm saying? Make sure everybody's good, and then, yeah, I'd probably burn out Hollywood or something. Yeah. Just try to live the life, bro. I mean, she got the bread, why not? You know what I'm saying? What's up? You know, you got any shows coming up, music? Uh, shit, yeah, I think we got, I mean, I don't really, I mean, our shows, they just come, like, unexpected, bro. Like, they'll just call us and... Tell us, hey, y'all want to perform here or y'all want to perform with, you know, sir and so. And I'll be like, yeah, bro, shit, we down. So it's just really like a come and go thing, you know. We don't really try to, like, go all the way out, really. And we should probably, but like I said, busy working and shit like that. So it's kind of hard. So let's do what I can, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Uh, where, where can people find you at? Uh, shit, really, like, on Facebook, man, you know, under, uh, Aaron Morales, under my Facebook, or under Local Main, uh, YouTube, you can find us on YouTube, under Local Foundation, uh, SoundCloud, Reverb, we're trying to get, you know, all platforms, you know what I'm saying, but it's just a little working process and shit like that, so we could really just get our music out there, expand, you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. I see you a Broncos fan. Oh yeah, Broncos all the way, bro. Hell yeah. yeah, that's for sure. But and who you think is gonna win the Super Bowl this year? Shit, Broncos. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know. Shit, uh, it's, it should be a good season, bro. Uh, a lot of people have a 
A lot of people have a good squad, bro, so we'll see what. That's what's up, you know. You know, thank you for your time, little Ed. Yeah, uh, yeah, I appreciate mm -hmm. y'all, bro, for sure. Y'all get at me, man, on the merch or whatever. I can do it all, man. I appreciate y'all for sure. What's up, you know? You know, you like the part of life from Houston? <laughs> land up the, the dirty sprite, pepper lead, the scissor. Yeah. Yes, sir.